keep you warm as soon as you remove that snow. Whatever we do, we will be all right. These holiday wonders will open your mind. May all your wishes tonight come true. The love I live, the dream I know. This Christmas, I only want to be close. To hey, y'all, welcome back to another video. I'm so excited for today's video because I'm going to be sharing with y'all what I got my kids for Christmas for 2023. I tried to get my kids about the same amount and I try to keep it as equal as I can and they're always really happy on Christmas morning so I feel like I do a good job. So this is going to be what I got my kids for Christmas for two boys and two girls. I have two boys ages two and four and then I have two girls ages six and 13. There will be a disclaimer on the screen so be cautious watching around your littles. Later in another video I'm going to be sharing Christmas Eve boxes as well as stocking stuffer ideas. So I have everything separated in piles. I have my six-year-old girl, my teen girl in front of me, my uh, two-year-old behind me, and then to the left I have my four-year-olds. I'm also going to be doing a wrap with me today. Also in my wrapping portion I'm going to be talking about Christmas traditions. And also I feel like I have to be a little cautious about certain things that I do and say with being on the internet, with being on YouTube, with being on Instagram. Last year I actually got a comment Someone assumed that I loved one of my kids more because they got like one extra present more than the other or something like that. And just a disclaimer that that is not the case. I love all four of my children equally. I love them all the same. I'm not favoring one over the other. Also, I would like to let y'all know that there are a couple of electronics in this haul. And just another disclaimer, I do not let my kids just run off into their room and play on their electronics all day long. They are limited. So electronics are a choice that we make in our family that I do let my kids have, but it is limited. For the most part, I know that all of my subscribers and all of y'all are very positive. I love all of the positivity. And I also wanted to thank y'all so much for supporting my family. Always clicking on my videos and coming back every week. Y'all are the reason I'm able to comfortably take care of my family, to clothe my kids, to feed my family family and help my husband out tremendously. So I guess it would make sense to go from youngest to oldest. So we're going to start with my two-year-old little boy. He just had a birthday this past November. S-A-N-T-A will be bringing us some gifts as well. He usually brings us one or two big items per kid and he fills our stockings. My boys love cars. Jackson walks around this house with Hot Wheels cars or monster trucks in his hand all the time. The first thing that I got for Jackson is this Lightning McQueen car. It says it has 15 plus sounds and phrases. You just push the top and it talks. He is going to love this. My boys both love the Cars movies. I also love that both of my boys are going to be playing with both of their toys. So these toys are going to double for my four-year-old. And then my four-year-old's toys are going to double for my one-year-old because they do share a bedroom. So they do get all these toys to share. <laughs> and this is from Walmart. The next thing is a five-pack of Hot Wheels cars. This is also from Walmart. From Target, my husband actually picked out these two for Jackson. There's just two Monster Jam monster trucks. And this one is a puppy and Jackson loves dogs. He always says goggy for doggy. He just loves dogs. So it's a little monster mutt. The next thing I got for Jackson is this super, super adorable little Mickey Mouse wooden car. And this is from Amazon, but it says ages two and up and it has a little Mickey Mouse character that can actually sit and ride in the car and he can push it around. So I just thought that was so adorable. Apart from certain things that I bought like at Target or at Walmart, like in store, I won't have links to those but anything that I bought online I will link it. The next thing for Jackson I found this on Timu. It is an activity cube for imagination. It has shapes, hand eye coordination, fine motor skills but I noticed whenever I take the kids to the doctor they have a tabletop activity cube and it has the little beads on top and he loves it. So I thought he would like a little mini one for at home but this was so affordable. I love Timu and I highly recommend y'all going on Timu and checking out their toys because they definitely have affordable toys on Timu. When I was, there's a gnat. I know I don't have to explain myself but sometimes it just gets to a point where you feel like you kind of do. I did get Jackson an Amazon Fire tablet. It says for ages three and up but he gets Bella and Nolan's tablets 
all the time. Whenever we're having like quiet time, tablet time, everybody's sitting on the couch, we're chilling or we're in the car with tablets. He cries because he feels like he's left out because they're playing games and he's like game he wants to play a game too and I really like the Amazon tablets because you put in their birthday and it will recommend games and stuff based on your child's age why is there an ad going on my Christmas background right now I have this cute Christmas background to get me in the Christmas spirits and an ad came on <laughs> and ruined it. And then also for Jackson, I got him this Hot Wheels Epic Race and Imaginative Play set. It's basically like a Hot Wheels track, but it's little people. So it's the little people cars and they like go down the track and I just know that the boys are going to love this. I know that Nolan will also play with it, but it comes with two little Hot Wheels little people race cars and a little racetrack. It says it's a racing loops tower and this is from Walmart. Okay, so now moving on to my four year old boy. So starting out, I also got him a five pack of the Hot Wheels cars. This one has a policeman in it. So I had to give this one to Nolan. He loves fire trucks policemen anything like that and I'm gonna show these two gifts together because he specifically asked for a blippy riding a fire truck <laughs> so the things that kids ask for sometimes this is blippy if you don't know who blippy is he loves blippy his last birthday party when he turned four was a blippy theme but this actually talks and it says it does 15 sounds and phrases he actually had one of these I already got it for him for his birthday but we do not know where it went he has misplaced it. He, I think he left it somewhere. I don't know where it is. So I got him another one of those. And then I also got him this fire truck. It says it has rubber tires and expanding ladder. It has lights and sounds. I think I got Blippi from either Walmart or Amazon, but I know I got the fire truck from Amazon. The next thing I got for Nolan are these little house shoes. So Nolan and Bella both have been asking me for more house shoes. They outgrew their house shoes last winter and I went to go get them some more, but it was summer and they really didn't have any. I got him these cow house shoes because his pre-K class is the cows. And so I just thought that was so cute that he's the cows this year so he's got some little cow house shoes but these are squishmallow house shoes from walmart and then up here we have a football it's just a foam football from walmart i also got him a soccer ball this is also from walmart i got this on clearance actually it was in the clearance pile but he loves soccer balls he loves to kick balls around so i got him this little puppy dog ball and Jackson's also gonna love this because like I said, he loves puppies and dogs. The next thing that I got for Nolan, I'm gonna go ahead and take this out of the plastic. Yeet. So I got him this Buzz Lightyear. It has 10 plus phrases and sounds. It says it's a toy detector. So I guess if you buy the other characters, it can detect the other toys around, which is really awesome. So I may have to go ahead and get him the Woody too so we can test that out. It says it detects the other characters nearby and activates phrases. So we'll definitely have to get him the Woody to go with this as well. So that's probably something I'm something else I'm going to pick up. I believe I got this off of Amazon, but you can't go wrong with a Buzz Lightyear. My kids love the Toy Story movies. My kids also love the Super Mario, the new Super Mario movie. It's just a Bowser action figure. It's really big. It says it has a fire breathing effect. I guess you put like water in it and it will mist out like fire breathing breath which is really cool. So I think he'll really like that. But this is from Walmart. Again, with the monster trucks, my husband picked this one out. I know that Nolan's gonna like this because like I said, he likes construction workers and construction vehicles and all that. And it kind of has like a red construction vehicle as well as a monster truck. The kids actually have the small scale version of this monster truck and they love it. They actually fight over it, this one specific one for whatever reason. So now they have a big one. And then for whatever reason, it comes with this like unicorn. <laughs> monster truck. Arabella may end up playing with that one. Who knows? But yeah, it comes with a little unicorn. And this is from Target. And then this pack of monster trucks is also from Target. So it's just a huge pack of monster trucks. And both of the boys can play with this, but we're just going to gift it to Nolan. Once it's open and in their room, I know they're both going to play with it. But it's just monster jam, monster trucks. Can't go wrong with monster trucks with my boys. The next thing that I got for Nolan, Jackson's going to love this as well. I was wanting to get him Legos, but my husband and I didn't really feel comfortable with getting the Legos because if y'all look at Legos, there are some tiny, tiny pieces in there and Jackson puts everything in his mouth. So we didn't feel comfortable with going the full 
Lego route. <laughs> so we went with Lego Duplo, which are smaller than the Mega Blocks. They do have Mega Blocks, but these are a lot smaller, but they're also not as small as Legos. So I thought it was a good in between. And it says it's for ages one and a half and up. Jackson just turned two, so. This will be really good for both of the boys. I'm sure my six-year-old will also play with it. Also got this Lego Duplo mat. It's basically a board. The Legos will stick to it so it can move around with your structure on it. Last but not least for my four-year-old Nolan. The box is kind of crushed on this, but this came from Timu. It is a police station and they had a fire station that I wanted to get them. I wanted to get them the fire station, but it was sold out before I had a chance to get it. But it's just a little wooden police station. It comes with the helicopter on top, the little policeman, a little police dog. And then it shows right here all of the pieces that it comes with. Now I'm going to move over here to my six-year-olds. So I'm going to start right here with her Squishmallow house shoes. I got Nolan the cow ones. And then I got her these cute little donut Squishmallows. I'm so glad I was able to find these. I love the little Squishmallow house shoes from Walmart. From Walmart, I found her this $10 set of bath fizzers she loves to use bath bombs when she takes a bath so i know that she's gonna love this little set and it's so girly it's got like a mermaid tail a unicorn head a rainbow a lightning bolt a bell a moon a star a heart and a cloud the next thing from walmart she requested a mini mouse she already has a mini mouse but it's red but she wants another mini mouse so she's gonna get this one that is pink she also requested an olaf so i got her this little stuffed olaf and this one is so pretty it has sparkly stars all over his back and to go along with the super mario it is a princess peach costume from super mario how adorable so it comes with the dress it comes with princess peach's crown and it also comes with some little snap earrings she does have her ears pierced but these are just some little snap on earrings it has the gloves how cute and this is from walmart <laughs> Next, she requested a stroller and a high chair. She did have a high chair. If you're an OG watcher of my channel, then you probably have seen the little white high chair. Well, it broke. I did get her another one. It says it's the Tiffany Bow High Chair by Kidcraft. I believe I got this from Amazon. And then I found this baby doll on Timu. It's so lifelike. It comes with a little bottle. And it also comes with a magnetic passy that magnetically snaps to the baby's mouth. But it's a lifelike little baby, and I know that she's going to love this. And to go with it, I got her this little stroller from Amazon as well. And the stroller came with some little bottles that have milk and juice in them for the baby. Next for Arabella, she likes Barbies and all the girl stuff. She likes makeup and anything girly, really. So I got her these Frozen characters. It's Elsa and Anna. And then I also got her a Barbie Dreamtopia Mermaid. The Barbies are all from Walmart. And then this is also from Walmart. It is a What the Fluff. It has a hundred plus sounds and reactions. And it's basically just like a little pink kitty cat. It says, I love to dance, eat, roll, play, and more. And it snuggles and all kind of stuff. So she kind of has a toy that you push its head and it's very interactive that she really loves. So I thought she would really love this What the Fluff. Last but not least for Arabella, I got her this Sing and Glow Izzy. And this is also from Walmart. It's a magic light up horn. You squeeze the hoofs to activate it. The Izzy moves to the music and it sings. I know she's definitely going to like this. Like I said, she's all girl, all girly girl. <laughs> Lastly, I'm going to show y'all what I got my 13 year old. If my 13 year old is watching this or one of her friends is watching this, please do not tell Adeline what she is getting for Christmas. And Adeline, if you are watching this, you better click right off. So I found this cozy robe. It is from Walmart and the color of this and the style of it I feel like suits her personality. It's like a bluish gray and it has stars and moons on it and oh my goodness it is so so soft. To go with her robe I got her these koala house shoes. They have little non-slip grippers on the bottom but they're little koala bears. And I thought these were the cutest thing ever. These are also from Walmart. If you have a preteen or a teen daughter, I think that one of these Fuji film cameras is such a good choice. It's an Instamax Mini 11 in the color sky blue. But it's just this little camera and it will instantly print out little square photos. And I also got her some more refills to go with it. But this is definitely a good idea if you've got a teenager or a preteen so that they can take little pictures with their friends. The next thing I got her are these Skull Candy 
wireless earbuds and these will go with her tablet or if your kid has a phone I'm sure they will Bluetooth to your kid's phone your kid's tablet there's an airplane going by and I know that you have to get your kids toys and items based on what they like and what they're into and specific things if they like to draw if they like to read whatever the case Adeline is an artist so I got her these twin tip brush pens. It says it's 24 rich colors, brush and fine tips. So they are double sided markers. And then I got her this little sketchbook. She likes little books like this to just kind of sketch in. She also has big sketchbooks, but I just got her this little sketchbook to go with her markers. I don't know if y'all know the new Five Nights at Freddy's movie that just came out, but she is obsessed with the Five Nights at Freddy's. So I did get her three of the Five Nights at Freddy's books. Like I said, you just have to get your kid what they want based on what they like. If they like to read, things they're into. So I did get her three of the Five Nights at Freddy's books. She also got some for her birthday as well. So Adeline has been wanting me to curl her hair lately, but I have a fat barrel curling iron and her hair is short, so she really needed like a skinny curling iron. So I got her this one. It's by Revlon from Walmart. It goes up to 400 degrees, but it's a half inch ceramic barrel. And she does have heat gloves so she can practice doing her hair. I did buy her those like last year. They're just black gloves so she can't burn her hands. But usually I just help her when she wants to curl her hair, I do it for her. And then to go with it, I got her some Heat Slayer. This is the L'Oreal L Vive Dream Lengths pre-iron spray it reduces frizziness and hydrates your hair so you basically spray this in your hair to protect your hair from the heat but that's going to be one of her gifts so i do still have christmas eve boxes and stocking stuffers that i'll be sharing with y'all in another video i will link what i can down below in my description box or if i didn't say where something is from you can ask me <laughs> If you're interested, but I think I told y'all, I think the books were from Walmart, but I'm so excited about Christmas morning. I know that this is going to be Jackson's real, like, like it's not his first Christmas, but it's his first Christmas really kind of understanding that we're like opening presents and getting things because last year he had just turned one and he kind of had no idea what was going on. <laughs> this year when he comes in here, I feel like he's going to be more excited. He's going to be able to run in here and open his presents and all that. So I think my kids are going to have a really good Christmas. I'll also show y'all later what I'm going to get my husband for Christmas. And I'll tell y'all what he ended up getting me and all that. But remember that Jesus is the reason for the season. Always keep Christ in Christmas. We may be waiting on a few more things. But I know that there's one shirt that I got for my 13 year old. It says eat, sleep, basketball, repeat. Because she does play basketball basketball so that is one extra item that we are waiting on and if I find a few more stragglers here and there before Christmas I'll pick them up but for the most part this is what I'm getting my kids for Christmas this year <laughs> So today's video is so full of Christmas inspiration. Let me know if you guys have started your Christmas gift shopping yet or if you are done. This is the earliest I have been done. Usually I'm struggling still all the way up until Christmas to make sure I have enough gifts for each of my kids. So it's a really good feeling to be done. So if you have some gifts to wrap, go ahead and grab those and let's hang out and chat and wrap those together or if you have not bought your gifts yet and you are waiting, then hopefully you can turn my video on again later and we can hang out while you wrap your presents. So I love to use an assortment of a Christmas wrapping paper under my Christmas tree. I have done all the same wrapping paper under my tree before and I'm not a big fan of the look of it. So I did get a bunch of different colored wrapping papers. I think I have five and I'm just kind of wrapping all the kids presents in different wrapping papers. I know it's really fun to wrap your kids presents like in one certain kind of wrapping paper, but I don't like to do that because knowing me I would just run out of wrapping paper before I was done as in if I use the red wrapping paper for one of my kids presents and the Christmas tree wrapping paper for another one of my kids presents so what I like to do is use symbols instead of names or instead of certain colored wrapping paper and I just put in my phone every year in my notepad so I don't 
forget whose symbol is whose. So for my kids, I put down their names. I'm going to do a Christmas tree, a Santa Claus hat, a heart, and a smiley face for my kids at symbols. And I wait until Christmas morning to tell them what their symbol is before they can dig into their presents. So that way there is no guessing what their presents are. <laughs> But I also just feel like this makes it even more fun on Christmas morning to find out what your symbol is. Also, whenever I'm wrapping Christmas presents, I try to use as much of my scraps as I possibly can. I do not like for my scrap paper to go to waste if it doesn't have to. So if it looks like it is big enough, then I will keep it and put it away for next year. But any tiny little scraps that I really don't think I'm going to use are obviously just going to have to be thrown away. But I really try to use all of my scrapped paper. And during my wrapping portion of this video, I'm going to be sharing some of our family traditions that we do for Christmas every year. I would love to know what is your favorite family tradition that you do every single year. That Christmas could bring tears to my eyes. Don't get me wrong, still enjoy full times. We're gonna sing this song. Look at the snow. It's Christmas And there's our mistletoe Among all the gifts And all the Christmas cards I think of you Don't forget one of our family traditions that we do every single year is gingerbread houses and baking cookies. So I always like to bake sugar cookies. We roll out the dough and we cut them with cookie cutters, with the flour, the whole nine yards, the whole messy kitchen, flour everywhere. And once those are baked, I put them on the kitchen table with assortments of sprinkles and different colored icings. And I let my kids just have a blast icing the cookies and putting all the sprinkles on. And we will put those in a bowl and eat on them for like a week because we make so many it's just the point of having fun and all the laughs and we always play christmas music while we do it to get into the spirits another christmas tradition is christmas pajamas they don't necessarily have to match they don't have to be the most expensive they could come from the dollar tree they could come from walmart they could come from amazon they could come from wherever as long as we have a pair of christmas pajamas to sleep in to wake up on Christmas morning and my kids are happy so we always try to make sure we have those Christmas pajamas and it's also really fun and comfortable to wear our Christmas pajamas when we're doing our Christmas baking. Another tradition that I've actually started with my family is doing Christmas Eve boxes and I started this with my children. I did not grow up with Christmas Eve boxes. Growing up we always just chose a present underneath the tree the night before Christmas on Christmas Eve to open and there has been times when we opened up the present and my mom was like oh gosh because she didn't want us to open that one yet but she thought it was something else so to avoid all of that happening I just thought that I would go with the Christmas Eve boxes that way I 100% know what my kids are gonna be opening so I will be sharing my kids Christmas Eve boxes with y'all in an upcoming video as well as what I'm putting in their stockings my favorite Christmas tradition that I love to do with the kids every year is to take them to see Santa. We always go to the mall because it just has the most professional setup. It has the most professional picture and it also has a Christmas train. It's a train that costs like $5 a person, but it drives around the mall and the kids absolutely love it. And last year, Jackson didn't care much for it because he was only one, but he just turned two and I just feel like he's getting older and things are just going to be more magical for him so for him to ride that train this year for Christmas he is going to be so excited y'all know Jackson loves trains we did a chugga chugga tutu theme for his birthday if y'all missed that video I do have his birthday party video up on my channel 
Another Christmas tradition that I feel like a lot of people do is Christmas movies. So throughout December, we are watching a lot of Christmas movies and drinking a lot of hot chocolate. So some of our favorite movies that we watch every year is Home Alone, Grinch, Polar Express, The Nightmare Before Christmas, and this year and last year we started watching a movie called Krampus. So if you are a scary movie lover, Krampus is actually a scary Christmas movie that is so good. We watch it on Vudu. And a family tradition that my mom actually carried on with me when I was little, I'm carrying it on with my kids, is reading the book The Night Before Christmas. I feel like this book is a must have to read to your kids before they go to sleep on Christmas Eve. And a family tradition that I started with my kids is the elf on the shelf. On December 1st, our elf returns. We have a girl elf. Her name is Lulu. And we got her a few years back when Adeline was about four or five years old, I think. <laughs> but she was a little younger than Arabella, about Nolan's age, I think, whenever we got our elf. But she comes back every year. And I feel like with my elf, we never have too much dramatic mischief with our elf but it is fun to wake up the next day and see what our elf has been into and where it has moved to and another tradition is i try every single year to make sure i get a picture of my kids in front of our christmas tree that year it's always fun to see how different our christmas tree looks every year and how much bigger our kids get in a year and one tradition that we have not taken advantage of lately is going to drive around and see Christmas lights. And this is solely because we've usually just had little babies that want to go to bed by 7 o'clock. But I feel like all the kids are getting a little older now and I feel like they're really going to enjoy it. So this year, instead of driving around to see Christmas lights, we're actually going to go to Six Flags. They do holiday in the park. And so we have never been to that, but we're going to go around and see the Christmas lights and see what it's all about. So we are super excited this year to go check out Six Flags at Christmas lights. So whenever I'm wrapping presents and I come across something like a ball or something in a tube like the heat protectant spray, I like to use twine to tie that up on the ends because it's really hard to try to fold it flat and tape it. So I just crunch up the wrapping paper and tie it in a little bow on both ends or at the top. And I also love to use these colorful bows. There's red, gold, silver, and green. And I just think they make the presents look so Christmassy and just so pretty for Christmas. So I'm gonna play a little bit of Christmas music. Some of my favorite Christmas songs from Epidemic Sound that I just really love to get us in the Christmas spirit. And if you are wrapping presents, I hope that you can jam to it as well. But let's go ahead and finish wrapping up all these presents. So with all of the Christmas shenanigans going on, all of the present wrapping and this, that, and the other about Christmas and Santa, I do want to take a moment because we always have to acknowledge what Christmas is really about. Jesus is the reason. Christmas is a season of giving. For God so loved the world that he gave his only son, that whoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. And John 3.16 is probably the most well-known Bible verse, but also one that should be remembered every single year at Christmas. And it's not the price tags or the size of the gifts, it's the meaning behind the gift, the thoughtfulness of giving. Most importantly, the person who was thoughtful enough to give you the gift. And even with no presents underneath our Christmas tree, we have each other, and that's the best gift of all. The city is covered in snow tonight Where did my love go? Santa, I'm waiting for him But he's nowhere in sight And all of the presents are still by the tree They don't mean a thing till this here with me If you know
December rain They play my favorite song I see a snowflake melt on the deck I'm awful cold And longing for the holiday Counting days until you're here I've been waiting this whole year Dear Christmas, Christmas, Christmas night I know you may suffer Lord 
what he's thinking when he'd rather spend his Christmas all the day with someone else. I guess he stopped thinking about me. Yeah, yeah. I don't know what he's thinking when he says that he's been driving all night, all day to celebrate Christmas with me. But he's not here. I'm not there I don't know what he want now But I don't care Such a charm, got you up in my arm There's nobody at the door You said I wish this will never be over Darling, it's time for your present Come over here, now it is time To get out in the snow Lighting a light with you Choirs will sing and the joy bells will ring Nobody loves you as much as I do It's a wonderful feeling from floor to the ceiling It is that time of the year Drinking hot wine by the fire Here on our own we got nothing to fear It's Christmas And 
some kind of love, my friend. Pick up some candy canes and hang a wreath on your door. It's Christmas, and outside snow's glistening. It's just you and me tonight. It's just you and me tonight. It's just you and me tonight. I'll spend all this Christmas with you. Happy smiles and the wishes, and I want it all from the lights to the mistletoe. Tell me one thing: Is there anything that you're missing? I will keep you warm as soon as you remove that snow. Whatever we do. All right, these holiday wonders will open your mind. May all your wishes tonight come true. The love I live, the dream I knew, this Christmas I only wanna be close to you. Magical time, full of kisses. Take a walk outside and tickle the snowman's nose. Moving nimbly, did you hear something from the chimney? I will keep you warm as soon as you remove that snow. As I was wrapping up the presents, I was just kind of sitting them in the area around the Christmas tree, but they were not organized. I was just wrapping and putting them over there. So I like to take the bigger presents and put those against the wall or on the back of the tree. And then I like to stack all of the smaller presents on top. And any presents that look like if you push on them, they're going to rip really easily. I don't like to put those in the front because I'm afraid one of my kids will fall on a present and expose it. <laughs> And this big old present that I'm pushing over here by the tree is actually mine from my husband. So I will show y'all what we end up getting each other for Christmas this year. But I love the way our tree looks this year. It is so beautiful. This is my favorite tree that I have ever done. I feel like my decorating over the years just gets better and better. And I'm just so in love with our tree this year. So that's the end of today's video. I didn't even show y'all my shirt. It's from Timu. I love the little vintage looking Santa Clauses and just the color of it. I love this color of green. But anyways, I hope y'all enjoyed hanging out with me and seeing me wrap all the presents. And if you haven't wrapped presents yet, maybe you can come back to this video and we can hang out and chat while you wrap your presents. But thank y'all so much for watching today's video and I will see y'all in my next one.